Hey guys, welcome to Kluge Tech Time. I'm David and today we're talking about the DJI Flight Simulator. Specifically, we're talking about how to get your Mavic Air remote controller to work with the Flight Simulator. By default, it does not work. And there are a lot of people out on the internet that are having problems with this, running into this problem, that they can't use the Flight Simulator with the Mavic Air. And the reason behind that is because the DJI has not, first off, told us that you have to have DJI Assistant Two installed on the same computer for it to work. But secondly, and more importantly, because they have not signed the device driver for the Mavic Air's remote controller. So Windows can't load it. So let me just show you what we run into when we try and use it. So I have my remote controller connected to my computer via this USB cable. And when I go ahead and turn on the remote control, you'll hear Windows tries to load it just like any USB device. When you turn it on and you connect it, it tries to load the driver for it so it can start communicating with it. But you might've heard right there, it just disconnected. Now it's connecting again and it's trying to load the driver. And then you'll hear, here it comes. It, it couldn't load it. So it's trying to, it's getting rid of it and it's gonna try again and it just gets into this endless cycle of being able to get this installed and be able to use it. I, I can't use it right now at all. If it were working, it would be controlling the options that I see in here, but it doesn't work at all. So let me go ahead and show you what we have to do. So there's two different ways to get it working. So you have to have DJI Assistant installed. And what, if you already have DJI Assistant installed, you're still gonna have to do this first process. If you don't, you have to do this first process as well to enable Windows to make it so that it will load that device driver for the remote controller that is not signed from DJI. So whether you have Assistant installed or not, you're gonna have to do this process. So we're gonna go ahead and go through that process and then we'll show you the two different options, whether you have it installed or you don't have it installed. So the first thing we need to do is we need to reboot our computer into a special mode to allow it to load that device driver. So what we need to do is we need to come down here to the bottom left-hand corner and we need to basically go to the power and choose restart. But before we do that, we have to hold down our shift key. And by holding our shift key while we click on the restart button, it makes it so that it will allow us to choose some special modes to reboot into. So we're gonna hold down our shift key and we're going to click on restart. And what we'll see here is that it is going to bring up a special menu. Now, when this menu comes up, we want to choose troubleshoot. Now, when you're in this menu system, you need to make sure that you're being a little bit careful what you click and that you're not clicking something incorrect because if you choose something incorrect, you can kind of get yourself into some problems. So just make sure that you're, you're making sure you're clicking on the right things. We want to click on troubleshoot. We want to click on advanced options. And then the option we want to choose on my computer is not on this first screen. You may see it on this first screen. The option we're looking for says startup settings, not one of these other ones. Don't click on one of these other ones. So if you see startup settings on this first screen, click it. For me, I have to choose the see more recovery options. And now I've got startup settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to give me a bit of information saying, hey, when you choose this option, these are some of the things you can do. And then I'm just going to click on the restart button. That's going to re reboot our computer and it's going to bring up uh, the options that it was just telling us about. And the one that we're looking for is that we're going to basically make it so that Windows can uh, load that unsigned device driver. So the option we want to choose is option seven, disable driver signature enforcement. So on our keyboard, we want to click number seven. We don't want to choose one of the other options. We just want number seven. Now, one of the things you have to understand is that this option is only kind of a one-time option. After you do this, the next time you reboot, this, uh, this thing is, is goes back to its normal state where it's going to enforce the device drivers to be signed. So it's kind of a one-time thing. I'm just gonna sign in here. Okay, so now that the computer has booted back up and we are back, we are into that special mode that allows us to install 
unsigned drivers, we're gonna go ahead and install the DJI Assistant software. Now, if you already have the DJI software installed, go ahead and go to this timestamp in the video. You can skip this process if you want, and I'll show you how to make it so that your existing install of the DJI Assistant 2 software will work. So first off, we're just gonna go ahead and install the software, and I'm going to be installing DJI Assistant 2 version 1.2.4, which is the current version for the Mavic Air. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose all these options. Basically, I'm just accepting all the default options, and it is going to go through and do a normal install most of the way, but towards the end, it's gonna pop up kind of a scary red screen that's gonna say, whoa, are you sure you really wanna do this? And I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna do that. And that's because I wanna get my remote controller to work. And that's why we went through that reboot process to put it into the special mode. So we'll see right here, Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software. Are you really sure you wanna do this? And in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, yes, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna click the bottom option, install this driver software anyway. And I might get a second one as well. Sometimes you get a couple of them, depending on what how your system's already set up. I think I've already uh, done this a couple of times uh, to get it to work before I, I'm doing this recording for you guys. So now at this point, my remote controller should work. So now at this point, I've got the DJI Assistant software installed and I should be good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on my remote controller. I should get to the point where it, it just connected and it should no longer do that, that kind of endless loop of connecting, disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting. So I should be connected now. I should be good to go and I should be able to go into the DJI Flight Simulator software. Go ahead and start it. It takes just a second for it to go ahead and load. This is one of the things, DJI, you need to fix is that every time it loads up, the, the sound is, and you can see it's actually working now. So the sound, I already have the background music turned off, but every time I load the software, it doesn't recognize the fact that I've turned that stupid sound off if it's cranked up, uh, but it is what it is. So you can see that now the, uh, the, the remote controller is working. I can use it to navigate around and do whatever I want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fly and it's gonna work just like I expected. All right, so just to show you that it works, I'll start the motors and we'll take off and we can go for a flight. Okay, so that was showing you guys the first way of getting the DJI simulator to work with the Mavic Air. That was putting, it in, putting Windows into a special mode that allows us to install unsigned drivers and then installing DJI Assistant. For those of you guys who already have DJI Assistant installed, I'm gonna walk you through the process of getting it to work. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have our remote controller connected. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna go into device manager. So to do that, we're gonna go down to the bottom left-hand corner, go to the Windows button. We're gonna right click on there and go to device manager. In this list, now it's gonna be kind of changing as it's trying to load it and unload it. While it's there, we wanna click on the, right click on the CDC ACM data. So we'll, we're gonna see that going away and coming back. So here in just a second, when it comes back up, I'm gonna right click on it, CDC, and we're going to update the driver, and we're going to browse my computer for the driver software. While we're there, while we're on the screen, we're gonna go find the DJI Assistant folder. For So for me, it is in the C Program Files x86 DJI Product DJI Assistant 2 folder, but if you've installed it somewhere else, it may be there. Make sure that you choose the include subfolders there, and I'm going to click next. Now this is where we get that similar uh, window that we had while, while we're doing the assistant install where we can choose Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software and we can choose install this driver software anyway. So I'll go ahead and click that. And we should get this Windows has successfully updated your drivers and we've got the DJI USB virtual com. So we'll click close and we'll see we're no longer hearing that 
connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. It's no longer there because it's working now. Now we have DJI USB Virtual Com, and now this is working perfectly fine, and we can go in and we can start our uh, flight simulator. And DJI, please fix the sound. Sounds cranked up again, so it's going to be working again. So settings, general settings, yep. Fix our music and go back. So that is the two different methods of getting the Mavic Air remote controller to work, whether you already have DJI Assistant installed or not. You have to go, you have to reboot your computer into that special mode that allows it to load unsigned drivers. And then you go and you basically make it so that it installs those. So that's getting it to work with Mavic Air remote controller. I'll be doing a separate video on the flight simulator, giving you a review of what I like about it, what I don't like about it, who it's useful for or not. So once I get that published, check out up here in the top corner and there will be a link to it. Hope this was useful for you guys. I've got a lot, of, a lot of other videos coming. Love to see you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell next to it so you get notifications when I put out new videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you get out and go fly it. And if your weather's terrible like it is for me today, you got an option to go fly it indoors today. So get out and go do it. Hope to see you on another video soon. See you guys. Ciao.